winter backpacking adventure across the Scottish Highlands. The Highlands of Scotland are extremely rugged and wild at the best of times. So in the winter they become the ideal place for a snowy adventure in the mountains. The extremely cold temperatures, heavy snowfall and icy rivers are just few of the things I'll have to tackle. And not to mention the bitter winds coming down from Scandinavia. Oh, I'm Liam by the way. The Cairngorms is the only place in the UK to boast a sub-arctic tundra. It's a barren place to say the least. So, I'll be backpacking across the Cairngorms National Park, starting at the Lynn of Dee and finishing close to Aviemore. The warm gear is out for this one. Everything I need to survive is in my pack. My tent, gas and electrics. I've got five days of food and I'll drink water from streams or snowmelt. I plan on using the local mountain huts called Boffies. They're all over Scotland. The fact a place like this exists in the UK blows my mind. It's about to be one of the hardest challenges yet, but I'm seriously excited for it. So grab some popcorn, put your feet up and enjoy the journey. The start was the Lynn of Dee forest, making my way across the snow covered hiking trails. Welcome to the highlands of Scotland in winter. This place is crazy. Right on my doorstep, pretty much. I mean, it's a six hour drive on my doorstep, but still in the UK. You don't have to go too far from home to have almost Arctic conditions, especially up there. Down here, still pretty nippy, minus seven degrees Celsius. My lips are quite cold, I can barely speak. <laughs> Got lots of layers, a huge pack. I've got gas. I've even got wood and fire lighters, so should be nice and toasty. I'm just setting off now. I'm making my way towards Aviemore, which is a ski place in the towards the Cairngorms. I'm right now. I'm in the Cairngorms National Park, towards like the centre north of Scotland, and it's uh, it's pretty wild. I've just come out of probably the last of civilization for a bit. <laughs> I don't plan on seeing anybody today, tomorrow, the next day, or the day after. You'd probably be stupid to come out this time of year up here. But that's why I'm doing it. So I'm seriously excited. Whew. Just got to get used to the cold again. I've had nice warm adventures recently, so nice beautiful forest like this that keep the wind away uh, this is going to be few and far between it's probably the last of these <laughs> so no big creatures to worry about hopefully fingers crossed no wolves or bears i can just try and relax and enjoy my time Whew. let's go I made the most of the Caledonian forest. It wouldn't be long before I was up in the open mountains. Bridges like this would be a common occurrence, helping me cross many icy rivers. Just looking at it made me feel cold. The sun was just setting on the beautiful winter's night in the highlands. I tried to get some miles in before I looked for a place to sleep. The trails were frozen. The Cairngorms is known to be the coldest place in the UK. Big trees like this would get me guessing their age. They were probably a couple hundred years old, some of them. You know, I'm so grateful for places like this. To say this is in the UK, I am speechless. This is as good as Scandinavia, if not better. Like, what? This is the perfect kind of <laughs> environment. Oh, I am so happy. We've got the sun going down. It's minus seven, minus eight degrees Celsius, but the weather is absolutely perfect for a winter day like this. Not too much wind. Wow. Even 
the trail right now it's quite icy but the snow on it so you can just get around quite quickly it's yeah very grateful this is just a start look at the colors of the sky the snowy mountains in the distance look more majestic than ever Far away I could see something that looked like a building. I wasn't sure what it was, maybe just a holiday cabin. I went to check it out anyway. Hello. Wow, look at this place. <laughs> it's so warm in here compared to outside. Wow, rice, stove, <laughs> wow. Sleeping platform, Scottish flag. I decided I'd stay here for the night, so I got a fire going. A fire makes everything better. So I've got everything ready for tonight and let me just show you around. So this was put up in memory of somebody called Bob Scott uh, quite a while ago. There's actually a compostable toilet on the outside as well uh, with a nice view of the, the hills in the distance. <laughs> I mean this is amazing. There's a, there's a river or like a creek there but that's frozen. But actually I should be able to get down there in the morning for some water so that's fine. I don't need my water filter, this is Scotland. I mean, the highlands, the water's fine. So let's go in. I lit some candles, unpacked my gear and had a look around. I couldn't believe this place. It had a fire, gas, extra food and water. This place was perfect. Filled my pot with fresh icy river water. I was ready for a hot meal, let me tell you. After my food, I settled down for an early night. Morning came around and I set off as soon as daylight hit. During the winter in the UK, days are short and nights are extremely long. So I tried to make the most of the daylight I had. I slept great. Oh, it's such a nice change to, to be in a boffy. It's almost like being in a house. So warm. Let's see what today brings. Streams like this were all over the terrain. Keeping my feet dry would be a real challenge. In the tracks I've just seen some, what I think are deer prints. Both sides, there were no human prints by it. And I don't think a dog will be wandering around here on its own, so I'm guessing it's a deer. Maybe we'll see it on the way. Hopefully we do. It was snowing a lot by now, and the place looks like a winter wonderland. Took a rest by the river. In the distance was the sun trying to poke through the clouds.
from here I'd walk past the last of the trees into the mountains. The trail is thick with snow. I can just about make out of the trail. But it's all going. Luckily, it's kind of packed, so, so I don't fall right through it. But this is just beautiful. Been snowing for a couple hours now. White out conditions, but I'm kind of low compared to the hills to the left and the right of me. So we just keep low. Follow the trail, I'll be okay. But my walking pole is coming in handy. I can check the depths. Just to make sure I'm not going through ice. I'd keep a listen out for the iced over streams, careful not to fall in. lethal <laughs> okay still got dry feet I was in a whiteout I'd never been in one before not being able to see anything in front of you was quite the experience up here the snow was deep it was kind of eerie it was so silent Wow, this has turned into some adventure. I'm so happy though. Right over there, a few hundred meters away, you probably can't even see it. Kind of in that direction, there's a little stone boffy. I think, fingers crossed. Uh, if there's no one in there, that's where I'm staying tonight. If not, I'll just set up my tent outside of it. 30 minutes left of sunlight or light. I feel like I'm in the Antarctic or something. This is crazy. Uh, I've never been so, every trip I go on, I get humbled, but this is something different. Scotland is no joke. <laughs> I haven't been in danger or anything. It's just, when you're, when you're doing something solo and you're this far away, if something does go wrong, Good luck, good luck. So, just trying to be extra careful. Uh, oh, can't wait to get there, just get some warm clothes on, have a hot meal, and sleep. <laughs> the boffy is just up there, but there's a river in my way with no bridge, and it looks pretty deep. Fast, kind of flowing, and freezing cold. I'm, oh no. <laughs> At least the boffy's up there. Just just the Okay, let me just test. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna attempt it. Oh, I'm happy to see this. There's a shovel there, I'm gonna have to shovel. <laughs> Hello? No, just me. Okay. Let's get shoveling. Okay. I mean, nothing special, but out of the snow and wind. So, well, you have to be about four foot or two, but it's, uh, it's pretty dry. I put my tent down on the bottom and then 
stay off the wet floor. I am so glad to be in there. It is cold, cold outside. So I've set up and quilt, everything's out. All my warm gear, I'm gonna get on soon. I'm gonna dry these out first because these are slightly damp, so I'm gonna get them dry so in the morning I can put these on and they'll be nice and warm and dry. Uh, I'm gonna get my sleeping bag with these for like an hour or two and then get into my, my warm kit. It's one of them tricks I found where it's just so much better for the morning. Uh, just hanging on my waterproofs up to kind of air out. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna shut this door soon, but first I'm gonna collect some snow melt it and get some hot food on because I need it. But yeah, nice and cosy. It's uh, a lot warmer in here than it is out there. I gathered some snow to melt for my hot meal. There was plenty of it anyway. It didn't take long at all to melt. I made a small fire on the metal shovel to warm the boffy up. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, I feel like a human again. So I just used the metal shovel, the metal end of it, as like a platform to stop it catching any of the the wood. I don't want to burn this place down. This is a being a life saving for me, so I want to respect it as much as possible. So um, yeah, just put it on the the metal, and that should be fine now. Just in the morning, I'll just clean it all the way, like I was never here. But a fire is crucial in in the winter like this. Just have a look. It's full light out. Uh, I just went down to the the river. <laughs> Whoa, freezing. I uh, filled my water bottle up full. I just thought, you know what, it's going dark. I need to do it. One of them things, I really didn't want to do it, but I'm glad I've done it now. Glad I've done it. So uh, that's done. I'm gonna get a hot meal, warm myself up, dry out, and, and get some well-needed rest because tomorrow I think it's even worse, even harder. <laughs> Pasta bolognese was on the menu. As the light was fading, I sat next to the fire, feeling grateful for some shelter. I was nice and warm in my quilt, so I headed to bed. Next morning, I woke up to clear blue skies. I couldn't believe how amazing this place looked. It was so different compared to the whiteout conditions. I was very lucky to see it like this. I locked up the boffy, ready for the next weary traveller. Good morning. So, that boffy was, it really was a lifesaver. I've got a lot of respect for the Boffy Association in Scotland for putting that there. So it's, uh, it's about minus 11, minus 15 with wind chill, but it's actually really good. Uh, I'm not too hot yet. And the blue sky honestly makes it so much better. It'll probably change soon, but this place is absolutely beautiful. It needs to be respected, but it's, uh, it's good. So I think about seven miles until the boffy, but the ground is, it's, uh, it's slow going, so. I really wish I brought my snowshoes now. Uh, you live and you learn. But I've got a stream, I've got a crossover. I'm just heading along this valley and we'll see where the day takes me.
but that boffy was so warm and had a great rest. <sighs> yeah, very, very good. So, um, it was such a surprise coming out of the boffy this morning and seeing the blue sky and just how big, whoop, such a vast expanse when it's covered with snow. I hadn't experienced icy cold wind like this before. It would freeze fingertips, toes and your nose in seconds. Conditions like this make it such an adventure. Trying to keep warm but falling through the deep snow and zero signs of a trail. Well, I was loving it. This really is as wild as it gets in the UK. The wind whistled across the surface. Up here was subarctic tundra. The only place like it in the UK, with wind chill down to minus 25 degrees Celsius. Pretty cold. The snow covered peaks were to the left and to the right of me. The plain above were probably the closest people to me, which is crazy to think about. So it's pretty important that I stay away from mountains and the ridges like this. That is a. That's his. Nine, maybe a thousand meters. And these are prone, especially in the Cairngorm. It's probably one of the only places in the UK in winter where you can get avalanches. So yeah, it's a good job I read about it before I came. So I'm just trying to stay. There's like a nice gentle There's not much build up of snow. Sun's out. It's, uh, it's a beautiful day. The last thing I want is an avalanche to fall on me. Yeah. I'm very humbled again. The white peaks contrasting against the blue sky made the views even better. I was the only person up here it seemed. I'd look back from where I'd come from every now and again. It was seriously slow going. I spotted a bird of prey just gliding along the valley tops. It was good to see life up here. After crossing numerous mountain passes, I found myself on a relatively low plateau. This is where the wind was strongest. It whipped right through here. This place really was a barren, frozen desert. Eventually though, I'd set my eyes on a huge forest in the distance. After one last look at the mountains I'd just crossed, I headed towards what seemed like paradise. It was amazing to walk on hiking trails again. There was a lot more forgiving down here, there was even a running river. I made sure to fill up my water bottle with the icy mountain water. Footprints would only mean one thing, I was close to civilization. This felt like a walk in the park compared to what I'd just experienced. Just leaving the boffy behind. It had about four or five people in there, so no room in the end. So I'm gonna head down. Apparently there's a lodge or something. Apparently it's open and it sells uh, meals and drinks. So if it's open, I'll pop in there, get a, a nice coffee. Oh, I can't wait. And, um, and then maybe there's like a a reindeer centre and like a scout centre near a lock in the forest so might be able to find a camping spot. I've got the wood, I'm going to use that and camp in the forest tonight. I've got my tent, I may as well use it, it's going to be one of the coldest nights so far. Maybe it's not, maybe it's not. Maybe because we're lower down, it'll be slightly warmer than it was up there. 
but man, I am glad to be down. You can just imagine the weather up there right now. It's nice and still here. I'm feeling good. I mean, I think the sun has just set, but I've probably got about 30 minutes left, so. I ploughed on through the forest with it getting darker and darker by the minute. I got a beer with a coke. I was in heaven. I walked long into the night along mountain roads until I found a place to sleep. I don't even need my head torch. The moonlight is, is helping out. I've got the bench, I'm gonna set up there. And the road is just, just over there. It's like an entrance, but the gates are closed, which is perfect for me. All the way in the distance, right over there, that is probably four or five miles away. They are the ski slopes of Avimo, and they're all lit up at night. I made a fire with the remainder of the wood I had. Being under the stars with a campfire made this whole thing worth it. You know what? I don't think I'd want to be anywhere else in the world right now. I'm so content. Got a fire going. It's nice and warm. Got some hot food cooking away. And I'm just here sitting on a bench. So it's about minus five, but it's uh, it's not too not too chilly. I'm so glad to be down. Um, I'm so grateful for stuff like this. I love it. A winter adventure across the Cairngorms. I never thought I'd ever be doing that. <laughs> it deserves respect, I tell you. Oh. The two hardest days I've ever, ever had. I really question myself, you know. When I was up there with the wind blowing and the total whiteout, I just said, why am I doing this? What? <laughs> but you've got no choice just to keep going. And the boffies did definitely help. Bit of a lifesaver, really. So shout out to the Scottish Mountain Boffy Association. Doing some good stuff. <laughs> Here. Still keep my fire up. Got some. You can get these at like the petrol stations everywhere in the UK for three or four pound. Just a big bag of them. They're definitely heavy, but amazingly worth it. It was great to get a hot meal into my belly. kept warm and stared into the flames for most of the night. Humans and sitting around the campfire have been in existence for millennia. Hundreds of thousands of years and it's still in our DNA. I definitely feel safer around the fire at night. I was awoken by the sound of traffic going by. The lock I slept next to was completely frozen over. In the distance I could see the ski slopes of Avimore for the first time. I left camp behind ready for what lay ahead. I'd follow the roads for a while. Luckily, they had been ploughed. It definitely made for easier walking, that's for sure. I 
I wasn't far from the town of Aviemore. The sun was out and it was a beautiful day for an adventure. Finally reached the outskirts of town. I was actually so excited to explore. There was only one thing left to do. I finally made it to Aviemore and man, I am happy. Right behind me, I've got... <laughs> I am so, so happy about this. Fish and chips. Not only fish and chips. I had to iron brew. So um, I'll get a coffee soon to warm me up, but the fish and chips will help with that. But I'm in Scotland, you gotta do it. Iron brew is a must. So let's dig in. My mouth is watering. <sighs> Even comes with mushy peas. I was experiencing pure satisfaction. I spent the day looking around Aviemore before heading back into the forest to find a place to sleep. Wow, I didn't even realise insects could survive in this low temperature. And there's one right there. For the final day, I'd head towards the forest. I tried to make the most of the last few miles. Again, I was blessed with the weather. The mountains had a pink tinge to them. What a way to end it. There's four of, four of them just watching me. The deer were probably wondering what I was doing in their patch of woods. I stood and watched in amazement for a few minutes. Well, here I am in the forest, covered from the wind pretty warm considering and I think this is as good a place as any to end it and man it has been a brilliant few days the Scottish Highlands are something else this is the UK I keep having to remind myself I didn't have to go halfway across the world or to the Arctic Circle I just traveled six hours and here I am deep deep snow lots of it super cold temperatures in the mountains Boffies, you can stay in and take refuge. Oh, it's got a lot. The Scottish Highlands are it. This is one of my favorite places in the UK right now. I'm definitely gonna have to come back. The fresh air, everything about it, the water. <laughs> what a few days it's been. The Scottish Highlands have been absolutely out of this world.